Hello everybody, it's your girl with T Sis and I'm here today with another collective reading. I already shuffled my cards, bless my cards, and bless my reading. For personal bookies, you can email me what's tsis10 at gmail.com. We can figure out your personal situations from there. And I am here today with another divine masculine reading. <laughs> I pulled six of my oracle cards from my original deck and I got my um after tarot deck out here because I want to switch it up a little bit. So we got the after tarot and I have both my clarification decks. So I pulled a healing message for Divine Masculine and we got rejection. So while I was shuffling these cards and um, pulling the cards out of everything, I was hearing that song. <clears throat> it's the girl that sings, I bust the windows out your car. I know you talking about, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I think her name was Jasmine. And it's called In Love With Another Man. And that song is off the movie T Temptation, I believe. I think I'm right. Yeah. It's off Temptation. So, I don't know, Divine Masculine, if you, you are being rejected by someone. For some of these Divine Masculines, I feel that they could be getting rejected by karmic partners. Because some of these karmic partners have drifted off and found other potential partners, you know. And some, for other, other percentage of Divine Masculines, I could feel as if that some of them are being rejected by their feminines. So, take that how it resonates. <clears throat> so, I'm going to read this card. I feel like I'm breathing heavy. <laughs> so, we got rejection number 13. It says, feeling rejected can disconnect you from your heart and soul and embolize you. Rather than buying into rejection, focus on how you can grow. Learn and improve from your experiences. If you are a writer and you see your articles or a book or to a publisher and they have rejected it, then try to hone your writing skills and then send your work out to serve Several other publishers, thank you. Use their rejection as a motivational force to see. If a person that you have feelings for or feel a deep love towards have, has rejected you, then work on healing your heart and recognizing that there is someone out there who, has, who is more suited for you. Many people use rejection as an excuse to close down, become suspicious, guard it, then, and give up. Then they hurt and reject others. They try... They hide behind rejection and never give themselves an opportunity to take a leap of faith and find their life calling and heal. By picking this card, you are being urged to hold yourself in a higher regard, keep your heart open, and trust that you have learned from your experiences and will not make the same mistakes again. Okay. It says, use rejection to grow and expand and build yourself. Yeah, I definitely feel that some of these divine masculines are being rejected by karmic partners. Like, some karmic partners have drifted off into another relationship or another situation with a different individual. And what else was I thinking before? I think I forgot it. But let's continue. Let's see these six oracle cards here. So, the first oracle card that we got for divine masculines, read it, is you divine masculine. So, you're the first person to come out here. After that... We have the finding out something card. So I don't know if you're lurking on someone's pages or someone is watching you. I felt that as well. I feel as if that, some, that someone is watching you, Divine Masculine, or you could be watching someone, like I said. You could be finding out that someone has drifted off into a different relationship or have been married to someone else, got committed to, committed to someone else or that. So take that how it resonates, you or them, Divine Masculine. Because also when I was shuffling my clarification decks, my rose deck, um... The commitment card came out in the field right here. So someone could be watching you going to a commitment divine masculine. You are watching someone else going in, into a commitment. Next, we got the divine masculine divine feminine card out here. Now, as always, I feel like that in this divine masculine surrounded energy, I feel as if that he is always watching divine feminine. It's nothing new to me. So I wasn't really surprised when that card came out. So in the midst of this, divine masculine is watching you divine feminine. <laughs> Next, we got this the I took your man card, but I don't know when I got the, when I pulled this card and when this card came out, I got the I took your man vibe. Now, I don't know if this karmic partner has went somewhere else where the divine master could have been with a friend or something. Because remember, in the reading, it was a reading, I don't know what reading it was, I don't know, but we were talking about how a karmic partner in a one of Divine Masculine's friends was hooking up or something and going against this Divine Masculine. I remember that reading where I said that they were belittling this Divine Masculine. They were talking about this Divine Masculine. Yeah. So, I don't know if this coming partner is um, dealing with another individual that this Divine Masculine knows. <clears throat> and if this coming partner is moving into a different situation, let's say the two of these people have children. 
the stubborn as fuck card came out after that and i also felt the energy that there was a um, karmic partner out here that was like taking the child away from this divine master because the stubborn as fuck card and the child card came out <clears throat> after this i had card and this is like vengeful energy with this i had like i had yeah this is that yeah so I feel as if that there could be a child that is being held against or away or this divine master can't see their baby, you know, take it how it resonates because uh, there is an individual that's holding this person back from that because they've moved on. So yeah, divine master, I feel like you got a lot going on. I feel like that's why I'm out of breath because <laughs> I wasn't out of breath when I, before I started. I feel like you're like, <sighs> okay, what do I do now? All right, what's going on? Like, I think, 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 think. I feel like it's a very, um, you're moving around a lot, Divine Masculine. So let's see. Let's clarify this Divine Masculine because we're starting out the energy with him. So let's see what's going on. Clarify this Divine Masculine, please. That's why I had to read the healing message all slow because I was all out of breath and shit. I'm like, y'all need to come down. I don't know how I got out of breath. <laughs> I've been sitting right here for like 20 minutes. Sorry, my car fell on floor. Give me a sec. My cars have been falling on floor so much lately. Okay. Clarify this divine masculine, please. What's going on with divine masculine, please? We got the ten of swords. Ooh, first card coming out, air energy. Ten of swords. We got the sun. So divine masculine, you know what I was thinking of the other day? We're going to take these two. Hold on. Take those are significant. The moon, the four, also. Okay. Um, you know how, uh, no, I'm sorry. I just blanked out. I feel like a little blanked out, like a message doesn't want, want to get out or something. Like it's something is distracting me in some way, somehow. But I was thinking the other day, God will put you in spirit, God, spirit, the higher power, whatever you want to call it. They will put you in circumstances where they would just rock your world just so you could have this um, fresh start. And that's what I'm feeling here. I feel like there is this opportunity here, Divine Masculine, where everything ain't even all bad. <laughs> you know? That's how you feel in Divine Masculine. Everything ain't even all bad. Whatever that you could have just found out, because the Moon Reverse is coming right out after this with the Ten of Swords, Air Energy, Leo Energy, Pisces, Cancerian Energy. I feel like that um, divine master, you're like, motherfucker, just carry me, carry me on to my grave, you know, take me on, let me end this cycle, because something new is coming, you know, something new, you have been gifted something new, divine masculine from the universe, and it could just be a fresh new start, that's how I'm feeling with this moon in reverse, because you found out something that was uh, possibly someone hooking up with your homie, man, it's right here. Four of Wands, Two of Wands, that's the Six of Wands. Seemed like that there, there could be some individual Divine Master that you was fucking with, and she could have moved on, bro. She could have moved on to one of your homies or someone that you like, that you know, probably went to school with, that you only work with for some of you. Clear for this Divine Master, please. Yeah, the Ace of Swords in Reverse came out. Divine Master, I could sense a lack of direction. Pull on this moon and this ace of swords in reverse. I, I could sense a lack of direction. Yeah, with the grave site. So, it has been revealed that a situation that was already fucking over is now over, Divine Masculine. Because <laughs> this is the person that keeps showing up to the grave site. This motherfucker, they be like, man, shit ain't been the same without you, man. They come there every night, every Tuesday, every Thursday. You know, they can't get over it this and the third. So, Divine Masculine, you was already in a situation that was over, but you just kept showing up to the situation. So, now it's time for you to move on, you know? And that could be a lack of direction for you because you obviously wanted to stay there, but, you know, the universe wasn't letting you. <laughs> They're not gonna let you, you know? So a situation that was already fucking over, Divine Masculine, is over, you know? So let's see, let's get a um, gypsy out here on this Ace of Swords. With service and thought in reverse, yeah. There's a, a lack of direction and a lack of, uh, I wanna say effort. <laughs> 
I want to say effort, but I will only say that if some wands was out here, I would say there is, thank you, a lack, a lack of spiritual effort. Thank you. Because this Ace of Swords, it, it has an owl on it, so that's like some wisdom and some guidance, I feel as if. This Divine Master could be having a hard time sensing guidance from his spiritual side. Let's see. Clear for this Divine Masculine, please. I feel, yeah, with the Page of Wands and the Five of Pentacles coming out. With the Two of Swords. I'm getting like a shoeing. Like a shoe. Like shoe. Get away. <laughs> Get away. That's how this Page of Wands feel. Who is doing this to you? <laughs> Page of Wands, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, Divine Master. Someone, someone kicked you out in the cold. Yeah. They did. Mm-hmm. They did. And for some of you, with this Two of Swords right here, it's definitely not a guy in the picture. For some of you, you ready to duel over this person. I don't know how I feel about that. That's some clown activity right there. That's clown activity, Divine Master. You don't go with... No, <laughs> you're doing too much. Yes, the, the cross divine masculine is over with. It's over with. Just take that L. Take that L. Don't do that. If you do that, I'm going to be so wait. <laughs> but I guess, okay, thank you. They're telling me something else. They're saying that uh, it's not over the individual, like the other guy or masculine energy that's in the situation. It's over like the child and things. So they say, thank you. <laughs> so they say, that's what these Divine Masculines are saying. So, yeah. Divine Masculine. You've been kicked out of a situation. You're out in the cold now. That's where you are at this moment. Five of Pentacles. Page of Wands. There is some type of lack of effort. And there's a lack of uh, guidance. Is what we're sensing so far. With this Two of Swords, you don't know if you want to go back to the... Um, what's that thing called when you have a captor? Or captor or whatever it's called. And um, you're like in love with them. Stockholm Syndrome. I think that's what it's called. <laughs> Stockholm Syndrome or something like that. Yeah, Divine Masculine. That's the type of energy you're, it's giving me. It's a bad time to be getting kicked out. So it's like, I don't feel where you're coming from, but I feel where you're coming from. Like on some 3D stuff, I feel where you're coming from. But on some spiritual stuff, nah. Nah. <laughs> yeah, with letter coming out. This is the second time it came out. The first time I put it back in the deck. Something that you want to talk. You want to talk to whoever that put you out or kicked you to the curb. You want to talk to that person. I don't feel like that this is a divine feminine. This is some type of karmic. <laughs> some karmic, some person that they were in a relationship with. With letter coming out. Divine Masculine, there, are, there is someone that you are losing. Because you know that, that is that Avon? I don't know who that, uh, who song this is, but it's that Please Don't Go song. I'm getting a lot of music downloads. Like, there's someone that you want to uh, chase after. That's what it feels like. I don't, I'm not getting, yeah, with commitment coming out. We will see if it's Divine Feminine, but honestly, I'm not really picking up Divine Feminine energy. Yeah, look. <laughs> the start came out. Divine Feminine isn't this irritated person with the garden. This is someone that's like... This is that karmic. You want to be with this person because this person, they got the garden. They're very well off, I should say. Now, what I don't understand is why you want to go chasing after this person. I don't understand that part. God kicked you out of a situation for a reason. I don't understand why you want to give this person a commitment. When this person, obviously, they irritate you in some type of way, shape, or form. It seems as if that, um, like I said, it's a bad time to be getting kicked out right now. So I don't know if this divine master is just going off that, or this divine master has some type of Stockholm syndrome. That's what it feels like. That's what it feels like. Clear for this divine master, please. Yes, with the magician in reverse. That's what I'm saying, Divine Master. Like, is this some type of game or something? Like, is this a, this a trick? This a... 
This feels like someone put some magic on you, Divine Masculine. That's what this feels like. <laughs> someone purposely did this. This, oh my God. Did I just break the code? Oh my God. <laughs> Divine Masculine, someone purposely did this. Someone is like over there mixing potions and whatever or whatnot. Yeah, with the Empress. Mm-hmm. That's divine feminine. <laughs> I knew whoever this person was that you were so begging to go back to divine masculine. That wasn't divine feminine. This is divine feminine, and it came out with the magician in reverse. I told you someone over there mixing something up together to keep you two apart. I said that in divine feminine is written. At the end, when the karmic came out, I said that. I said someone was trying to go and make something apart and i didn't feel like that they succeeded in that reading but it looked like they succeed because you want to go back to that person yeah with the four of wands yeah that's exactly what this is so i want you to stop you from building a relationship with your real divine feminine yeah yeah because divine feminine isn't being manipulated. Yep, with the sun. I told you, Leo energy out here. I told you, divine feminine energy, that wouldn't be the manipulative energy. Because you just came out. It seems like that there is some type of third party, Karmisha lurking around here. <laughs> that is uh, doing some type of spells or something. Something like that. Ooh, look. Friend came out. This the sly motherfucker. This the motherfucker that's like, yeah, I ain't steal your $100 bill and they got it in their pocket. Yes, there is someone around you, Divine Masculine, that you think is God's gift, but no. <laughs> they're trying to keep you away from this person. This person, they, they are in some type of disguise. A disguise. I mean, like, if this the person that you're getting rejected by, Divine Masculine, look at her boobs all out. <laughs> I mean, like... <laughs> She very beautiful, but yeah. Yeah, with the King of Swords coming out. This is like a distraction. That's probably why I was getting distracted when I first started the reading. I feel like I was in some type of distraction or some type of, I don't know, it was weird. Like I couldn't concentrate. Seems like a distraction here. But you're not getting too far lured off, is what I'm hearing. Because the King of Swords, he has his mindset. Look at that crown or that um, sword is right, right between that crown. This person, they have a very strong intuition. So whoever that this person is that's doing magic or doing whatever that they're doing, they know that you have a um, very strong connection with this divine feminine, this empress here. Yeah, with the Eight of Cups. Yeah, with the Six of Cups in reverse. It seems like, um, y'all know in the movies when there is a clone of two people and they're like, oh my God, which one is it? Which one is the real person? And then like they kill the wrong person <laughs> or they kill the right person and they walk off with the wrong person. So now, remember in the movie Temptation, when the lady, she fell in love with the uh, person that was wrong for her? That's what it feels like here. It feels as if that there is some type of spell work being done to make this um, masculine energy walk off into a different direction. Because with this King of Swords next to this Eight of Cups, it felt like that this masculine energy knew that this empress aka divine feminine energy was very he had very strong intuition on this person and he was his mindset was on this person but with the eight of cups it feels like that this person was so close to going back to this individual in this card but they turned turned around and they walked back off doesn't it feel like that i feel that energy within this card like they were going back to that person aka divine feminine but they turned around and they walked back off with the six of cups in reverse so it feels as if that it's like a a calling. I wonder is it like a spell? Like a calling spell. You know? 
That's what it feels like. I don't like it. All right, moving on. <laughs> moving on. Moving on. So let's see what this person found out on social media or in their phone or going through somebody's phone. We got the hermit. Forward movement. So yeah, let's see. Divine feminine and divine masculine. Clarify this lurking. Clarify this lurking card, please. Seven of Wands in reverse with the strength. With this Seven of Wands in reverse with this strength right here, someone is like. Crossroads, but the karmic came out. <laughs> I'm telling you, someone going backwards. Divine Masculine, you could be possibly going backwards. Because look, in this hermit, he's holding the snake in his hand. He's holding the snake dead in his hand. They feel like some backwards energy with the seven of wands in reverse with the strength. It doesn't give me like the way I'm feeling as in these cards and the energy that it gives me. This is giving me like in type of robot thing. You have like someone someone under a spell, like um, you know, just some wizard type stuff. <laughs> like drink this potion, then this 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 and happen, but it wears off in you know four days, five days. That's what it feels like here. Like it doesn't feel like a clear decision making. That's what I should say on Divine Masculine's end. It doesn't feel like a clear decision making. Clear for this lurking card. Someone found out something. The Nine of Cups in reverse. Yeah, there's, there isn't even any emotional fulfillment here. So it feels like that um, someone is doing something to manipulate the energy that's going on around. Yeah, with the Three of Pentacles coming out. With the Knight of Pentacles and the Page of Cups. Remember in Divine Feminist reading, I was saying something about this karmic wanting to be seen or something? And her being by herself or alone. So this was, I think, two days ago in a reading where I was talking about that this karmic was fucking around with Divine Masculine's or friend or something. Was That was uh, the reading where I said that he was gossiping or they were gossiping about him. Mm, just ask me in the comments. I plan to point it out. But anyways... With this Nine of Cups and Reverse with this Three of Pentacles, someone here is um, building Three of Pentacles. Gives me masculine energy. They're building by themselves. Doesn't look like they do anything. I just saw 23, 23. I just saw, and that breaks down to 5, 5, 5, 5 equals 10. Yeah. So, yeah, new start. Building. Three of Pentacles. Don't really got much. Nine of Cups next to it. Mmm. It's not really going really well. You don't really like it. It's just the start, though, Divine Master. Don't get too worried about that. Now, that's where this crummit comes in. Because Divine Master, at this moment, you're by yourself. <laughs> you're building. Trying, trying to build, I should say. And then, boom, someone comes at the blue with an offer. Knight of Pentacles, Page of Cups. Well, Divine Master, as gullible as you are, it feels like you take the bait, you know. But little do you know. Feels like that, that that this page of cups, whoever is that is coming to uh give this offer to this divine masculine, I should say. It won't last long. The thing it like the real potion, which would be the fish, fill out the cup. So it feels like that there is some type of uh illusion. I would say that again. It feels like illusions here. Illusions. Something that is going to not last long because even though with this lurking I feel like that this is going to backfire it's a backfire here so whoever is doing this it's going to backfire on them put on this page of cups with the knight of pentacles because with this lurking whoever that this person this person they're lurking on this divine masculine whoever that this person is they're going to find out something 
regarding this divine mask one. Yeah, but whatever it coming out. Yeah, it's still gonna be a dead dead situation at the end of the day. It is. Yeah, with divine masculine coming out. Yeah. On top of this page of cups and this knight, knight of pentacles. So this is a backfire here because at the end of the day, it's still going to be a dead situation. Let me get a rose on top of this three of pentacles with the knight of cups. The dog and the bear. It feels like that this divine masculine, they're growing up. <laughs> on top of this nine of cups in reverse with this three of pentacles where I said that they were trying to work and try to build something on their own. It's just now starting out. They really don't like it. It feels like that they're trying to um, transform into a, into a fucking caterpillar to a butterfly. But this time it's just a dog to a bear. You know, because we've been telling divine masculine it's either eat or get ate. And it's time to start eating divine masculine. So... To satisfy yourself, you have to start working. Don't really push up on yourself, I should say. It's just the beginning. We all feel like that in the beginning. <laughs> Where it's like, you don't, you really are starting out with nothing. I feel like Divine, Divine Masculine, don't get too influenced by this person. Because whoever that this person is, they're just looking for some type of um, sexual relation to get you wrapped back up into the um, fantasy that they're the one for you. Because with the whip, that's the bitch that used sex for, you know getting what she wants i guess so yeah divine master don't get too wrapped up in that <laughs> don't go backwards and if you are gonna go backwards be aware i feel like you're gonna fall out of that illusion anyway i don't feel like i feel like it's it's it, you're gonna fall out of that it's like a spell or something clear for this lurking card Clarify this lurking card, please. The King of Wands coming out. Yeah, Divine Masculine. And it's coming right under this bear right here. Where I say either eat or get eight. Yeah, with the Nine of Pentacles, it's time to start building for yourself. It is. So, yeah, Divine Masculine, I feel like that, uh... There is a bouncing forth of rejection going on. <laughs> so it feels like that this person, you've already rejected this person. Your divine feminine done rejected you. You know, y'all are on the break. This person, they're going to come back, try to come back in, try to lure you back in. Feels like that you're going to reject that person again. You know, because the King of, Gar King of Wands out here with the Nine of Pentacles, feel like that divine master, you're going to try to build yourself. You started off with the Three of Pentacles, you work your way up to the Nine. So there's a boost up for you. Meanwhile, some bitch is lurking on you, divine master. And be aware of that, that someone work lurking real heavy. King of Wands, you probably look real good right now, divine master. <laughs> you know, the King of Wands is a very attractive person. Yeah, with the um, ten, of, ten of Wands in reverse. Now, Divine Masculine, and regarding in, in the process of all of this happening, you still have some uh, issues with this person that's lurking on you, Divine Masculine. Because you were in a relationship with this person, we're not going to cross out the fact because this this is falling right on top of the widower. widower. So, yes, Divine Masculine, there is a situation that you threw away that you are... Uh, Kind of still hurt of, hurt about, you know. Kind of still hurt. Yeah, with death. Scorpio energy. And it's really over the mind mask. Like, every card that we got in regarding this relationship, we got the grave, we got the cross, we got death. And they was all in the upright. It's over the mind mask. Because look what, look what's wait, waiting for you. That someone wants to take away from you so bad. The empress with the sun. So, yes, <laughs> the mind mask. And just think about that, I should say. Because there is some type of still regrets and um, energy that is still attached to a karmic individual. Could be a Scorpio that you were dealing with. Clarify this lurking card, please. Yo, with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse coming out. Divine Masculine, be careful of thinking that... Uh, 
It feels like that you're going after something divine masculine and as soon as you think that you got it, mind the pinnacles, you got the ace of pinnacles in reverse. As soon as you think that you got the big lucky prize, you know the ace of pinnacles in reverse come out. Seems like that there is something that you're going after after. Maybe it's a job opportunity, maybe it's a high status job, an office job, um, you know, twenty dollar an hour job, maybe it's some entrepreneurial type thing. Don't get too bummed out. You know, you're gonna miss you're gonna miss a hit a lot, you know. So be aware of um, you know, just be okay. You didn't get this big thing, but you got these nine pinnacles here, you know. So just you know, just keep calm. <laughs> Feels like that you're on a rush to get it going, divine master, and get your life going. Just keep calm, keep calm. It's gonna work out in God's God's orders, God's plan. Yeah, the ten of pentacles, ten of pentacles, divine master. So you don't get the ace of pentacles in reverse, but you do. You you be patient, and you get the ten of pentacles. Yeah, divine master. It feels like that you're building. That's just what the rejection card said. You get rejected, you start building. Yes, divine master. And justice at the bottom of the deck, Libra energy. Feels like that you built for yourself. I like that energy there. And whoever that this person is, whoever that's lur lurking on you, Divine Masculine, and watching you, this motherfucker, they're going to watch you build for yourself. And every time you fail, this, this motherfucker going to get happier and happier, but Divine Masculine, you're going to win without this person. This King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you winning without this motherfucker, Divine Masculine. So, you know, <laughs> that's all you. I don't see nobody else but you. Masculine energy, fire sign. Could be any sign. I see Earth out here too, a lot of Earth. And Scorpio. Put on this Nine of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. So yeah, Divine Master, this Ten of Pentacles is right next to this death, so you ain't sharing with a bitch either. <laughs> you know, you're not sharing with them either, Divine Master. And this bitch face, look at her face. <laughs> she gonna be super shot. <laughs> So that's okay, Divine Masculine. I see you. I see you, Divine Masculine. So now you rejected someone. So this bitch, I told you, it's like a bounce forth. Divine Feminine rejected you. You rejected her. She came back. Then she rejected you. Now you was going back to her. Then you, you, you rejected her ass. And now you, yeah, Divine Masculine. So yes. <laughs> yes. All right. So let's move on. We got Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine out here. We were talking about, uh... How I always felt like that this feminine energy was going to come out in Divine Masculine's readings regardless. <laughs> you know, Divine Feminine, you're not really paying too much attention to this Divine Masculine look. She's just looking forward. He looking all up in her face and shit. So you're not really paying much attention. So let's see what's going to go on between the two of you. Because when that card comes out, it gives me like a, a energy flow of the both of you. So let's see. Clarify Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, please. We got the Queen of Swords coming out here, the Two of Cups in reverse with the higher front. <laughs> Divine Feminine, I feel some sassiness. <laughs> some sassiness coming from you <laughs> with this Queen of Swords. It could be also a masculine energy as well. Take it how it resonates. Ooh, Justice came out with the Temperance in reverse. I feel like that some moves with this hierophant, plan, plot, strategize. That's the energy I'm getting with that hierophant. Now with this two of cups in reverse, it feels like that there are some emotion, some emotions that the both of you know about but aren't really speaking upon with this temperance in reverse with justice. Now I feel like that with this justice, there are scales that are balanced here. Yeah, look, reunion. <laughs> reunion came out. There are scales that are balanced here, but it feels like that someone is uh someone or the energy around is kind of afraid, yeah, to send that message. <laughs> Messenger came out. It feels like that this divine masculine, he knows the appropriate time to reach out to you. It feels like for some of you, some unblocking could have been done. That's what they're telling me. And now the appropriate time to reach out is now, but there could be some uh holding back with it. But the scales are balanced. I feel like that uh, <laughs> it's a, a, a um, <laughs> doctor came out. So yeah, with this temperance in reverse, I was feeling like that you, your spirit guides didn't tell you guys to do this. I feel like that it's just the energy around you guys. You guys miss each other. Yeah, I've been and I've been picking up the energy that you guys missed each other for like a week now. So yeah, it's the energy around you guys is making you want to um, go after each other right now. 
even though <laughs> they're telling me like no one confirmed it with the spirit guides no one confirmed it with lord himself <laughs> i don't feel like it's a bad thing though they're, they're, they're telling me that the scales are balanced so it, it's it's a it's a mutual thing nothing too drastic would happen out of this exchange you know nothing too drastic would happen so let's see yeah, what judgment came out. Yeah, it feels like that someone knows the appropriate time, the right time to reach out. You or this divine masculine. Sagittarius energy with that judgment card. Aries as well. Yeah, with the six of swords coming out. The Ten of Cups are reverse. Water energy, air energy. With this Six of Swords, <laughs> there is still some decision making left at the boat. <laughs> some decision making was left at the boat. Look at the Six of Swords card. He's walking off with Four Swords. That's low key some stuck energy and some meditative energy and leaving the two swords behind in the boat so there is still some decision making that is not being talked about regarding you guys' relationship and i feel like with the four swords y'all could be in some stagnant energy as well i had to break that card down because i don't feel like that someone is leaving an individual i just feel like that there is some stagnant and some decision making that's being left behind <laughs> and with the ten of cups in reverse so yeah there is not no um emotional foundation here either let's see in emotional foundation, I'm, I'm talking about feelings that have been spoken upon. I don't really sense it. <clears throat> Clarify this divine masculine, this divine feminine, please. The world in reverse with the eight of swords. Mm -hmm. With the three of swords coming out. It feels like that... Uh, We got the Eight of Swords with the um, Three of Swords. It feels like, go on, go be free. <laughs> I'll be right here waiting for you, Johnny. <laughs> That's what it feels like <laughs> with this Eight of Swords and the Three of Swords. It feels like that there could be some stagnant energy. And this Divine Masculine is feeling like, um, why not just let my Divine Feminine go right now? Because if it's meant for you, me, it will come back. So it feels like that this Divine Masculine is like in the energy of uh, really trying to focus on himself. And I can't blame him. I really can't. And I feel like that with the letting go of the karmic partner, that's a big burden because it feels like that she was some type of financial source because she came out with the garden, even though this bitch was a bird. You know, she was the bird, but she lived in a good ass nest, you know? And with Divine Feminine, you know, she's the empress with the sun and she wanted new opportunities and new beginnings with this, with you, Divine Feminine. But it feels like that this Divine Masculine is in a mindset of uh, caring for himself and thinking for himself. So this relationship is in a stagnant energy. Yeah, with the love card. Oh, <laughs> on top of this eight of swords and this three of swords. Like, go on, go be free. I'll just be right here waiting for you. It feels like a lot of a lot of rejection is going around right now. A lot of rejection. <laughs> but it's all out of love with the love card coming out, Divine Feminine. It is. Look, look how she waiting by the tree stump. <laughs> I'm just gonna be sitting right here waiting. I'll wait forever if I have to. That's the energy that he's giving me. Some romantic type shit. <laughs> Clarify this masculine and feminine energy, please. Why do you all like my cards just wanna fall all out the deck? Like, I don't understand why he does that, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> with the chariot yeah cancerian energy that's moving forward energy that's um going thriving i'm thriving here going through the wind yeah this is thriving course this divine masculine is setting a lot of shit free to thrive to go get it to be a hustler yeah i, I could feel that i could dig that i could dig that all right so let's move on to this i have card now <laughs> divine feminine oh i said divine feminine okay so this could be regarding divine feminine that's another scenario i want to say that after this so divine masculine there was some uh i said that the spell was gonna wear off this that and the third seems like that you got back into your senses with the hand card like bitch you thought you thought you had me you thought 
<laughs> that's the energy it's giving me. Like you thought you had me, you thought you thought that you could get me this, that, and the third. But I had jokes on you, motherfucker. That's what it feels like. Now this the other scenario that I was been picturing was ooh look, the two of wands came out. That you possibly could have gave what this karmic wanted to someone else with the two of wands. Mm mm mm. And I said this a long time ago. I said that this coin partner was gonna watch the divine masculine head into a different relationship. I saw I said that. I said that like a month or two ago. I said that and I put my word on that. <laughs> a karmic is gonna watch a feminine energy, divine feminine and divine masculine go into a, a relationship. Yes, look. Five of Cups came out with the ace of wands. Fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancerian energy, Pisces, Scorpio with the Five of Cups. Someone back there is drowning. It feels like that there is a masculine energy that could have let this situation go between this karmic and him. And that was like, ah, like, ah, like, I don't know what to say. Because I feel like that this karmic, that she doubted this divine masculine. Whoever masculine energy that this is, she thought that she was better than this person. She did. With this Ace of Wands coming out. Clear for this hand hand card. At first, I thought it was a I take your man card, but it feels like the divine masculine that you earned some bragging rights. You know, it feels like that you earned some bragging rights. Even though I feel like I still feel like that that karmic, you know, with her love. Look at her. I mean, like, I still feel like that she could possibly have, you know, fuck their homeboys, bro. I do. I do. You know, I ain't gonna lie. You know? So let's see. We got two coming out. We got the Nine of Swords in reverse with the Knight of Wands in reverse. Fire energy, air energy. This line of swords reverse. Is this nightmares? <laughs> and that's what it feels like. <laughs> now the divine master, somebody could be haunting you. Okay, this is taking a turn. It feels like some nightmares. Some um, uh. Okay, this this graceful energy. I didn't like. I don't want to say that. Like I didn't. I didn't want to say that. That's how distasteful it was. So once you start flexing on your old hoes, divine masculine, <clears throat> once that comes about for you, it feels like that the old hoes is going to um, have some resentment against you. They're going to start sp sending spiritual attacks. But now with the Knight of Wands in reverse, it feels like this is out of impulsive energy. <laughs> They're just mad hoes, you know. I feel like that uh, divine masculine, be aware of that. That's what they're going to start trying to do. Yeah, they gonna try to send you right to the right to heaven. Divine masculine who came out the four of swords. It's lucky that he landed in his casket. Yeah, divine masculine, be aware of that. And they real, real determined because the ace of wands is right on top of this four of swords. <laughs> so yeah, be aware. This my police trying to send you right to the moon, right into your grave. Divine masculine, they trying to kill you out here, cause oh look, the four of pentacles. If no one can have you, if I can't have you, no one will. <laughs> That's the energy I get here. <laughs> So yes, Divine Masculine, be aware of that. They out here mad at you. They super mad out here, Divine Masculine. Put on this Four of Swords with this Four of Pentacles. Ooh, look, Fortune in Reverse. This, this is really lonely, too, lonely tunes. This person, they have the energy of no one can have you. If I can't have you, no one else can have you. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what it feels like. Feels like they're gonna try to send you the moon to the moon to your casket six feet under, whatever you want to call it. They got that um voodoo doll, yeah, with rival tea. <laughs> You're gonna be a butterfly, all right, all right, divine masculine. You're gonna be a free spirit, all right. <laughs> so, yeah, let's see. Put one on this ad hand card. Let's see who divine masculine has earned the bragging rights. Feels like some some bragging going on here. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> Who's the divine masculine flexing on? <laughs> the lovers in reverse with the queen of cups in reverse. Some delusional ass motherfucker. Some delusional person. Now with this um lovers in reverse Gemini energy, it could be a Gem Gemini. I don't really feel like it's twin flame energy more, but um two of cups standard. I feel like that this divine masculine, like I said, flexing on old hoes. It's someone that uses her emotions as an advantage or someone that's like, I'm crazy and start smiling <laughs> or start smiling or something. This is someone that, uh, very emotional and when they get emotional, it's, it's horrifying. Thank you. 
I'm not getting that card. I'm not getting that card. I'm not. I can't do it. It's, it's all the way under there. Oh I gotta get it. I have to get it. I got it. <laughs> Alright, let's continue. Clear for this ad hoc card. Who is this Divine Masculine Flexing on, please? Got one coming out, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, someone that was also unfaithful to him. Someone that was also unfaithful. We were talking about this person being unfaithful in the beginning. In the beginning, yes, the Nine of Wands in reverse. Someone that that, that doesn't want to work, just want to stand by him, obsess over him, be energe energetically attached to him. Someone that's, you know, <laughs> cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I don't know. Clear for this fat half heart. So yeah, Divine Masters, once you start flexing on this person, they're going to want to uh, ruin your whole reputation. Be aware of that. Be aware of this person coming to ruin your reputation, ruin what you have built with someone else or what you have built for yourself. Because that's what it looks like they're coming to do. Yeah, with pleasure seekers. They could be possibly coming to seduce you. Ooh, look what came out. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> the female hoe, the full card. Yeah, with Pleasure Seekers, this is someone that was always out and about. Like I said, you never knew where this person was at. You didn't know what time they was coming home. They was out there fucking with other motherfuckers. This is the person that had you in third-party situations, Divine Masculine. This is the motherfucker that rejected you, then you rejected them, and then they came back and they rejected you again, and then you came back and you rejected their ass again and with the back-and-forth cycle. This that person, yeah. They cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, and they gonna try to get you back with seduction or... I don't know, but yeah. So let's move on. <laughs> Next, we got the stubborn the spell card. So we're gonna see what this is about. Now, the first scenario that I had before I pulled any cards on it was that uh, there was a mother out there that was um, had the baby with this divine mask, and they weren't letting them see their kid. But we're gonna see what the cards say. So let's see about that. Clear for the stubborn the spell card, please. With the fool in reverse. Could be any sign with the fool. With the king of pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> okay, there, so there's another percentage of these divine masculines that stubborn as fuck to let someone that they are no longer happy with go. Let that person go. <laughs> You're not even re really committed to this person. King of Pentacles in reverse. Like, you, you're not even happy with this person, committed with this person. You're just there to be there. Not making moves to be under this person's ass with the stubbornness fuck. Who is this? Yeah, with the Seven of Pentacles because you have some type of investment here, Divine Masculine. Man, you got way too much life. You gonna stay with this motherfucker forever because you got investment? Like, come on now, be serious. It feels like that some there are some divine masculine out there that doesn't want to let a relationship go because they've invested inside of it. Been there seven years, seventeen years, twenty-seven years, all your damn life. I don't know. You could be forty-seven, but it's it's time to let it go. <laughs> it's time to let that go with the full in reverse. Y'all not even on a talking level. You barely talk to this person. So what's going on? Yeah, six of wands in reverse. This is a non-moving forward divine masculine. I don't know what divine masculine this is, but baby, it's time to uh, reject that person. Let that person go. Or it's time for that person to reject you. Y'all don't even talk. I, I don't even think y'all have sex. Honestly, that's why you're unfaithful to that person. Y'all not even having sex. Yeah, with the child came out. Mm -hmm, this definitely got something to do with some type of baby. It does. It does. Yes, look, you just grown old there. Old woman with wife came out. You and this motherfucker just grown old. Not doing nothing. This relationship boring. <laughs> Whatever relationship that this is, is boring. Let it go. There's nothing there. Some of y'all could have been tempted to stay in this relationship because of older women or older individuals that said that it was right for y'all and that y'all was going to succeed in it. Yeah, look, the Knight of Cups coming out with the Three of Wands. It's time to love yourself and let this go, Divine Masculine, because whoever this is, you just you just sitting there. You're not even doing shit. This might even an uh, active relationship. It's a relationship that's on decline. Let that go. <laughs> Oh, let that go. Whatever that is with the three of wands. It's time to look out and go branch off new things and do new things with the Knight of Cups. With the self-love card. Yeah, look, tower at the bottom of the deck. It's time, it's time to let that go. I feel like that guy gonna step inside that relationship. 
put one on this three of wands. Ooh, look. Misfortune came out. Mm -mm, with enemy and scholar. I don't like that. So, whoever that this person is, is that is born this book over there, and they not even, <laughs> you not even succeeding with misfortune either. Because the, the King of Pentacles in reverse came out. So, that, that lets me know that you at the bottom of the barrel, you know, King of Pentacles in reverse. You don't, you know, you're not a king, I tell you that much, with the enemy. So, whoever that this is, she could possibly be stealing money from you, or know where you got all your money at with the scholar card. Take that how it resonates with misfortune. It's time to branch out divine masculine because whoever that this person is, it's just some females around you that's just sneaky. And I need you to get away. <laughs> females, even older women, that's sneaky around you, divine masculine. Even some of y'all mamas. So, yes. Take that how it resonates. It's time to get up and go from that. Let's see. Let's pull two more cards on it. On this stubborn spot card, please. With the five of wands and the seven of swords. Woof. It's time to go. Divine masculine. And you know it. With the fly of wands. There's a whole lot of arguing, a whole lot of bickering about some financial situations, I feel like, with the seven of swords. Whoever this person is, they get caught up in their own lives, or you get caught up in your lives, divine masculine. It's just a whole bunch of back and forth, back and forth bullshit. Whoever that this is, and this person, whoever that they, whoever that they is, they know a lot about you. Enemy with scholar, this person, they know so much about you. I'm telling you, this could be a spouse. A spouse that you was like, we're going to grow old together. The relationship all boring. You and this person don't even have sex, this, that, and the third. A whole bunch of men misfortune and this relationship happened it just feels like it's time to let that go and whoever that this person is you call this person your wife <laughs> whoever that that is you call this person your wife and they possibly could be going through your pockets so be aware of that with enemy and scholar with that five of wands though y'all argue a lot whatever couple that is but anyways next we got the baby <laughs> So let's see what this baby is talking about. Clear for this baby. This could be baby steps or there could be an actual child. So let's see. Clear for this baby, please. We got the hangman. Oof. Someone could be out here feeding you knowledge, divine masculine. With the four of cups coming out. Be aware of rejecting it though. <laughs> be, a, be aware of going to um, get knowledge or someone pour, pouring some knowledge into your brain space or in your mouth where you see it in this card. How she's like making him think. You could be getting advice from someone. Be aware of, you know, just going to get that advice and then like pouring it out afterwards and not even really taking it. With the four of cups, it feels like that someone could have given you advice about a relationship that's what it looks like here because it feels like some emotional energy and it look like that you don't take it <laughs> looks like that you don't take it clarify for this baby please clarify for this baby please Well, we got the star coming out, Aquarius energy, with the King of Cups. So that's more healing. Feels like this is baby steps. Okay, so Divine Master, it feels like that you poured out that well, you poured out whatever this person offered you or whatever this advice this person gave you because you wanted to do more healing. Which I'm not mad at that. I feel like that divine masculines are more on a, a different route with making better decisions. So kudos to them. I feel like divine masculine, you wanted to do more healing before you could present yourself to someone because I feel like that you could be emotionally off balance because this person cups his cup is tipping over. So all his emotions spilling out and all the way his the ways he feel. So I feel like divine masculine that you could be in a puddle of your own thoughts, emotions, and feelings. And you need to do more healing upon yourself before you can go offer something to someone else. Put one on this four of cups with the hangman. Put one on this four of cups with the hangman. Ooh, yeah, look, conversation came out. I told you this is the four of cups and the hangman. I said that you were going to get advice for someone else or someone was going to spill some knowledge into your ear about some type of relationship. <clears throat> 
with the hangman. See how she's feeding him knowledge there with conversation. Feels like that you could have a, be having a conversation with a group of people or someone. And these are a whole bunch of females in here. We could be a group of females. You would just be surrounded by females, Divine Masculine. I don't know, but <laughs> it could be a group of females or just someone on your family. Who knows? But someone that you be, could be getting advice from. So let's see. Yeah, we got the Knight of Swords come out, but it's still a battle with yourself. I say when this Knight of Swords came out, your energy that this person, they're fighting, fighting themselves. So, yeah, you could could possibly have um, poured the offer out because you still have a battle a battle with yourself. Yeah, with the Five of Swords coming out with the Three of Cups. <clears throat> it feels like that there is something that you could have possibly done to the individual that you want to give this offer to. It could be Divine Feminine. I really don't know. It feels like that... Uh, you're not really over some damage, five of swords, some lying, some scandalous situation that you could have pulled with this person. Yeah, with the ship, it feels like that you and this person's situations could still be kind of rocky. And even the, even you, you, even by yourself, Divine Master, could be still kind of rocky. Like, the situation with yourself. It feels like that there is some, and I'm getting like damaged goods. <laughs> like, that's the energy I'm getting with you, Divine Masculine damaged goods like you're kind of damaged you kind of you know but aren't we all if it, it just feels like that you want to get yourself and your mental state under control before you offer something to someone and i can applaud you on that as always with this five of swords here gemini libra aquarius feel like that there is some issues that you have within yourself that you seem you seem to can't get over and there are some issues that you have within the relationship and it's falling right on the Divine Feminine. So I'm going to say Divine Feminine. That in the relationship with Divine Feminine that you can't seem to get over. So you're going to back off a little bit. <laughs> what it feels like. Just going to back off a little bit. <clears throat> Let's see. Put one on this Three of Cups, please. And this King of Cups. Three of Cups and reverse with the King of Cups, please. <clears throat> with the mice coming out. And the fish. Divine Masculine, yeah, with Divine Masculine at the bottom of the deck, you still feel dirty. <laughs> That's how Divine Masculine feels. So, yeah, you're not reaching out to this person that you want to commit to or offer something to because you still feel kind of dirty. Because the fish, they swim around in their own shit. And the mice, they just live in the streets and the sewer rats and shit. So you still feel dirty, Divine Masculine. You feel like that you are somewhat kind of dirty. So, you look, he want to take a bath <laughs> with the stars. Want to heal somewhere. Want to take a bath. This, that, and the third. So yes, divine feminine. I said divine feminine, divine masculine. So yes, it feels as if that you feel dirty, you feel nasty, and you still want to uh, heal yourself and get better for whatever person that you are looking forward to uh, being in a relationship in or offering something to. Clarify this baby card, please. I'm sorry, yo, my card swell on my hand like every three seconds. <laughs> Clarify this baby card, please. We got the Emperor. Yeah. Aries energy. Clarify this baby card. Thank you. With the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, Divine Master. There's a move that you want to go make. And I feel like that you're going to make it. <laughs> With the Flowy Clover came out. And you're going to be really lucky making it, Divine Master. That's a perfect way to end the reading. So yes, Divine Master, it feels like that with this Emperor and the Six of Pentacles, you want to get yourself right. You want to be on your spiritual pathway. You want to do the right thing, it feels like. It feels like that you are in a different energy. There might be some little tactics and tricks coming from other individuals. So just, you know, try to ignore that and try to stay clear away from that. But yes, it's your girl, West Tisas. I really hope that you enjoyed this reading. <clears throat> for personal bookings, you can email me, westtisas10 at gmail.com. We can figure out your personal situations from there. I love you guys a lot. Check out my other videos. Like, share, comment, subscribe. And I really do appreciate all of you guys for being here with me on this journey with me. Because we've been here for a while. We've been doing this for a while. And we're getting better and better at it. So thank you all for being here. Like I said again, like, share, comment, subscribe. If you want bookings, what's tsas10 at gmail.com. I love you lots. Bye.